Every 50 hours of use is a good practice to do the lower leg service of your fork. And in this video, I will show you how to do it on a Fox Free 34. First of all, remove the air cap and deflate completely the fork with a pump or an allen key. Now move the rebound knob to the fastest possible, counting the clicks and not down the number. This will help you to set up the rebound back after the service. Locate on the knob the little screw and untighten it. This will allow you to remove the rebound adjuster knob. At this point you can unscrew the two bolts on the lower leg with a 10mm socket, but not completely. Half of the way should be fine, as shown in the video. For each leg, put the 10mm socket on the bolt and hit the socket with a rubber hammer. And if it's not working with a normal hammer but with extra care, since you don't want to smash your lower legs. This process is needed to detach the air and damper shafts from the lower legs. At this stage, remove the two bolts and the two washers, rotate the fork and slowly push down the lower leg, allowing the oil to flow out. Push till the end now and remove the lower legs. Now we can remove the sago ring and clean the stanchions and the shafts with isopropyl alcohol. As you can see, the foam rings under the dust wiper seals are quite dirty. Use a pick to remove them. Usually it's not needed to replace also the dust wiper seals on the lower leg service, but in this case Daniel asked me to do it for his fork. Fox dust wiper seals are quite difficult to remove compared to the ones that I have in my RockShox Lyric, where a tire lever is enough. In this case, I had to use a wrench and I was really not happy about it, but this is also what Fox suggests to do it. Use the wrench as a lever going around all the seal and push up. At one point you will be able to remove the seal. One tip to avoid the scratches left by the wrench is to leave the foam rings in place, if you have to change them anyway. Now clean the inside of the lower leg carefully, removing the old oil. Then place the Fox 20WT oil in a cup and put in here the two new foam rings. Now we can install the new dust wiper seals. You can choose to buy the specific and expensive tool from Fox or as Daniel did, you can buy a PVC tube of the same diameter of the seal. In my case, I was able to install them properly. After that, put the two foam rings under the dust wiper seals. Then grease the new dust wiper seals. Place the new sack o-ring on the air extension, then insert back the lower legs onto the extensions. If you push the lower legs till the end, remember to pull it a little bit so that you will be able to insert the oil, as shown in the video. At this point, as Fox suggests, Pump the fork already at your desired pressure. On the east side, insert 10ml of Fox 20WT Gold and in the damper side insert 40ml of Fox 5WT. You can now push down completely the lower leg. Check that the shafts are both outside the lower legs, then put two new washers and then the two bolts. Tighten both bolts at 5.7 Nm. On the damper side, Put the rebound knob back on the bolt and tighten the little screw at around 2 Nm. Then turn the rebound to the original position. Tighten the air cap and you are good to go. You can now mount the fork back in the bike. I hope you will find this tutorial useful. If yes, please leave a like and consider to subscribe for the next one. In the meantime, happy maintenance and good luck!